Welcome, Gemini, to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing your reading. It is from uh, the 30th of December to the um, 8th of 6th, sorry, <laughs> of January. And uh, it is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. It is a general reading. Please take just what resonates with your situation. Don't try to make it fit if it just simply don't. Uh, energies change as well. Um, take a look at the your moon sign perhaps for additional love messages and compare. So sometimes it can just change, right? Uh, so yeah, hopefully you'll find the perspective that you're after. I hope you are doing really well, that you've had a wonderful Christmas, that you're looking forward to a New Year's celebration or just relaxation like I will do. And uh, yeah, I hope you have your New Year's resolutions, your manifestation list ready. And uh, if not, just simply look forward to the new year. All right. I'm going to give an extra shuffle. I will clarify as well. Okay. So I'm ready to start your reading, Gemini. I always have to shuffle on screen just to connect with you all, especially those that are watching. So the Ace of Cups in the Sun. Woo! These are very uplifting energies. There's excitement around you. There is someone giving you attention. Maybe it's an Aquarius, maybe it's a Leo. This person feels you are their soulmate. <clears throat> They're very excited to have met you, uh, Gemini. This is someone that, well, love at first sight. <laughs> It's a relationship coming for you. This is love sharing like the abundance together. It's feeling happy in each other's company. I mean, you could have come in as a shock, as a positive surprise to this person when you met, whenever it is. I mean, this when you met, it's applied to how it resonates for you. And um, yeah, again, it could be different for all of you. But uh, Gemini, I definitely see someone here that have deep feelings for you. You might have water in your chart. This person is looking at the future when they think of you they are racing towards you it's possible that it is possible that someone is coming back after a, a shake-up of some kind in their own life i don't really feel that there has been an ending with you and them i feel it's new energy uh, yeah, coming towards you you could be really surprised when you hear from them or you could be really surprised that um, it's like this person is coming towards you in such energy so fast that if this is someone that you've had an ending with, right, you've had pain with, you, you have your guards up, this is a spiritual connection, you could get, see signs and synchronicities that this person is coming for you. I, you know, this person, I, they are coming forward in very good, uh, with good intentions, yeah, this, they, they, they have, uh, feelings and they want to share with you they have uh, undying love they know that there is differences between the two of you um, they know you will not take action <laughs> something tells me they know that um, but yeah this person will take action towards you let's look into uh, this person who are they and uh, what are their <laughs> intentions so okay so I'm seeing this when we first got together, it was they knew that you are the one for them. That was clear to them. It was, you know, you have the whole rainbow and more. It was this wish fulfillment. I see that you and them, you could have got together um, by... I, I feel that you got together in a, in a crowd or something. You might have met at um, an event. Um, they seen you or they could have seen you in at work they could have seen you somewhere right they see that people are they look up to you you have a following perhaps as well they could come up as a you know just to someone that admire you and maybe they couldn't believe that you connected with them as well there's a lot of happiness about you and them connecting now you have your guards up but it you, it, they're still making you happy, I see. You might not tell them that. You might not even tell yourself that. But I do see this person, the way they come forward, you will smile. <laughs> 
even behind the wheel you will uh, of the high priestess i do see that you you are happy that this person is making an effort yeah they have definitely it's like okay they take action they know what to do they don't want to hold back anymore and uh, this person is all about the action they are they are good at what they do when it comes to the seduction or it's more the romantic gestures they will do for you they are going to show you that they only have eyes for you you could find this person a little immature so you could think really are they for real they are a little bit over the top i think you will allow them to be over the top i think they need to be over the top to really show that they are genuine as well. I mean, they, they can be so much that you are like, oh, oh no, <laughs> be careful what you wish for. <laughs> but um, yeah, they, they, they really, um, it's this person, they fell in love with you as soon as uh, your eyes locked, as soon as you met Gemini, this person is like, they are quite um, loud about their feelings for you, definitely to their environment. Um, they are coming out of a difficult a change, an uncomfortable change. Um, so, so they're still um, licking their wounds. Maybe it was with you. Um, we'll find out. There, they are. Yeah, the, the tower. It could be a. Um, there's, there's a tower. There's a tower they are recuperating from, okay? Um, it's possible that they have split with a Scorpio. That uh, there was, it wasn't easy to split or there was drama involved. Um, it was a change regardless, but they made a change. They are moving towards you. Their intentions is to tell you that they want a relationship. They want to build with you. They are leaving everything behind. But again, because of their action and very intense action to be with you, Gemini, someone is left wounded um, and um, they, they've had to let someone go. But they, it looks like they've been honest about it. This person showing up in this reading is great to see. Uh, I mean, they are. So, and if that this didn't get off the ground the first time, and that's why you're keeping your guards up, that you have uh, reservations towards this person because of a tower moment, um, they quickly want to reverse it. It seems like there could have been a misunderstanding or they went about something the wrong way. I don't really pick up and... Um, unresolved toxic energy i don't at this time so i'm glad to see that <laughs> um because there's plenty of that as well in, in this week's reading so uh yeah um also gemini this person when they come forward you might not think much of it you are sort of um you you are just kind of oh what, what what's happening here uh your intuition is saying Someone is coming towards me. You're saying that sort of uh, with a side eyeing this person. And at the same time, you're sort of keeping your guards up. You're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. But the, I would say the way they come forward is quite certain. It's, uh, it's someone that you click with. It's someone that you, things will flow here. I don't see any awkwardness or anything like that, uh, Gemini. I see you're starting over like it's someone that wants to, you, you know, they, they want to coach you. They want to show you uh, how attracted they are to you. They, they really want to charm you. They are going to, to do the work here. Um, Gemini, they definitely are going to do the work. Um, but if this is this is someone um, you have had a difficult ending with or you, you experience pain and betrayal then you have reservations uh towards this person you know they are very charming so you are you know that you will also um pay attention to their charming ways so so i see that you are um they know they know, okay, I see for someone, then they know that there has been a breakup and sadness they have caused that was unnecessary, right? And there is, for some of you, if that's happened, if that's a thing, then 
you might let them tell you they're sorry or like you will let them give you attention and you'll let them kind of invest in you but if it is someone right if it's someone that you just don't trust them or you have moved on for all of you it's going to be different you might show this person's door as well that happiness could be short-lived because i see someone here that is very very excited to come towards you and to collaborate you want someone here to really um make an effort and many will do that they will understand what they have to to do like it won't be um the, it won't be like an overnight success for this person if they you have experienced pain they left you out in the cold and just walks into your life and you know throw some uh, romantic gestures and flirtation towards you that's not gonna fly that's not going to make a lasting this this the lasting thing but uh, I do see someone here they're very serious about investing into the connection to show you that there is a change uh, again a positive change as well um, but uh, yeah from your side I see here that you are sort of very cautious very cautious but you are communicating with them uh, I do see that you are open to you will be happy when you hear from them. That's what I'm seeing. Regardless, you will be happy. It's something about a proof, a, like their love is genuine and real. Even if it's not your decision to say, oh, great, um, great, we are going to move into a relationship. I do see you are happy to, to feel their love, to see them make an effort. Um, Gemini, I see that's it's something about that is also healing to your pain because you experience pain in this connection and you are um, happy to see that, okay, this is a real spiritual connection. It's not something you imagine. It's not just something that you, you know, it was a fling. So that's going to make you feel good, Gemini, um, to connect with this person again. And uh, I do see you going with the flow. I, I feel an energy from you, Gemini. It's that, okay, a new chapter. Let's take love lightly and just, um, you know, there's something you could have a spiritual practice. You could uh, invest a lot in that. Maybe you need some time actually to come out of your shell here. Like you will do that your way. And if this person understands that that's your way and that's how it's going to be and they're still by your side again that could be promising you 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 hope that this person is who they think that who who you think they are to you which is a twin flame which is someone that is sacred which is someone that is on a journey with you but you are not putting your eggs in the basket but you are paying attention to them and you're happy to see and experience this person is making a step in the right direction and uh, maybe as a Leo or Aries so this person is um, again they are making making a move towards you they seem to be truthful as well so I see here also Gemini we have the king of swords they are coming in to see they're manifesting you taking action right is a lot happening there will be a change um big change uh, it is also stopping habits from the past especially regarding love it is uh, also someone changing their uh, changing their attachments to certain wealth and status um, maybe this person will show you that they will free themselves from something they will show you they will free themselves from that is no longer important to them like they are prepared to let it all go for you this wealth and status and, and that's a step in the right di direction for this person um, because they could have been wearing a mask uh, at some point um, and, and where you were very disappointed you were disappointed that this person here were wearing a mask that they actually chose this path of, of materialistic wealth or they chose here to um to, to leave the spiritual union that was so rare and so unique and it had so much potential that really hurt you but again see this this connection here when it came together it was new love it went off the ground and it it was it just felt like love at first sight this person here it's just again they're coming towards you could be an aquarius with leo in their chart strong energies here aries as well it's uh it's it's going to come back around 
it's definitely going to come back around. This is someone that will they let their guard down and they will um, change their life for you. Strong Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, Leo. With all these aces, right? It's just a matter of time. Someone is healing. They, this union is protected. This union is meant to be. Uh, it's also saving. It's saving someone here. Um, I do see like this person, you make them very, very happy. You could have Leo or water in your chart as well. See, it's, this could be a, a twin flame union. Now, the obstacle is pretty much that this person, something about like their, their control, their finances, or saying also that they um, they couldn't really make these changes, right? They, they were sort of... Um, See, see, they were saying, oh, no, you know, I need to keep this harmony that I have around me. I don't want to let go. And when you let go of them, that's when they started to let go of their environment because it's not making them happy. It was a lot of turbulence and, you know, they made these changes. So they're taking action and moving into the king of wands energy. Again, I do feel I pick up a uh, strong fire and air uh, in their chart could be Sagittarius as well. So this is someone changing like um, and, and also starting to, you know, they realize that what, what they used to think about how love should be or how they would move into a relationship. It things were it was not like that. Um, and they actually were the one that had to go through change. They were very much all about, um, oh, someone needs to like refer to me or my relationship as someone with a title or like a specific union, like uh, they, they, they were seeking a union for fame as well. Like really wanted to always show, you know, who it's like uh, their union is a brand, a relationship is a brand. Like as long as people are applauding the brand, their relationship is more important than what's happening within the four walls. So everything started to get rocky. And I think that you have a different approach to it. You want a silent or quiet life. You want a relationship in private. You don't want, even if you are famous, you don't want uh, the world shining the light on your relationship. And that this person, that's what they wanted. But it looks like they are letting that go because their world is you and the uh, the rest of the world doesn't really matter so this could be someone again that's letting go of this way of the perception of a relationship that actually in the end uh, caused the breakup and has made them very unhappy and uh, yeah now now they they have been soaking and they have been dwelling in in their uh, spilled milk here um gemini and it looks like they are ready here to um yeah, again, they're, they're coming for you. They do love you. Uh, they don't. They no longer want to hold back. Um, if they, this is someone that, again, didn't address things they did or were just someone that with a stiff face and just always just pretended to ignore everything, I, I see this person is opening up. This could be a shock to you as well. <laughs> Definitely, that you could be, what am I seeing? Is this for real? Is this person actually doing these things? Is that, who are they? Because again, there was, this person was very much in that uh, seduction passion, right? Very much of a chaser. They were full on. And see here, yeah, then there was like a shock, a sudden change. Not enough. This person moved into their ego. They sabotaged the union. Things went downhill. So I think that it's, it's about cutting that out. It is about a change of an old school mindset as well, possibly. Like everything is changing. The structure is changing. The old structure no longer is the structure of relevance, right? So it's, uh, yeah, it's, everything's changing. I think that you have changed this person's perception about love and relationships and spiritual connection and, and why uh you know what what's what a spiritual connection mean and, and how you should treat one another as well and um, yeah they they are changing that completely changing they want to move into your world and they see now the value of your world gemini well this person is uh 
very much in love with you that's for sure they could also have libra in their chart right um but there is sort of an old mindset that's been stuck on them um, and and uh, that's changing again strong um strong spiritual connection here they know that they have to come in with the truth with you they have to also let go of old ways uh this person is quite immature but I think they have potential here. It looks like they have potential, but I mean, age doesn't have to be with, they might have to let go of, um, there's something to do with healing as well, taking uh, the right choices when it comes to their health too. Um, and, and, and like growing up here, it's like, okay, take a breather. Don't lose this opportunity. Don't live uh, like on, on this, this moment of fame. They, they have to get out of their head. Um, so yeah, definitely someone that is um, stepping up, someone that's showing a, a more mature side to them as well. Again, I think it could be very surprising to you, Gemini. You, you don't see this coming at all. Um, and you've been staying in silence. You haven't really done anything but being you. You've just stayed in silence and uh, see... Tower moment is coming for this connection. You are, um, I think that you, when, when you hear from this person, um, uh, Gemini, you will think, oh no, uh, I, could, I, could, I could do without hearing from them because they are quite um, a lot. You will rem be reminded that they left that you out of the call or that it was painful or that they're just causing a circus whenever they show up in your life. And um, Right, but there is love here, Gemini. This Gemini is your card as well. The Eight of Swords. Can you forgive them? Can they again prove themselves here? Is there enough love to forgive? It's it's more than just forgiveness. It's about is the feelings real so that you know is it worthwhile to get together that you will know yourself. This is about um I, I see that if you have feelings for this person, uh, it's it's pretty much like that. Um if you don't have any feelings for them, then I think that you will not move forward. But I see that it's you have feelings for them and that you will go with your feelings. That's and, and that could shock people around you as well. You have options and there could be a risk here where you will be advised to say, oh, what are you doing? I just see that you feel really happy when this person comes towards you and, and you, you want to hear what they have to say. I, I do see you accepting their love. <laughs> you, you are going to accept their communication of love, definitely. And uh, I see it's going to be in your favor. But it's, it will be a shock, right? This person is someone that wants to rebuild. They have sabotaged. They're working on repairing it. But you will see, I don't see the devil card here again. That's always a good thing. That means that, well, they have let go of the habit, bad habit, the addiction, whatever it was to them. But of course, it doesn't mean that someone become perfect or like there is no wounds left to heal. Uh, but I see two people wanting to spend time together. There's a lot of joy when you two get together. You will enjoy moments together, whatever the future is. You might also decide to live in the moment. <clears throat> like It's like saying, okay, let's put our differences aside or what's happened? Do we love each other? Do we want to spend time together? Will we enjoy this day together? And so the answer is yes. And I think you will go with a, I'm going to live in the moment here. I'm living in the moment because, you know, a, a happy day is, is valuable to me, right? It's like going away, enjoying this person, enjoying this bliss. This person has a different culture as well. And um, there could be children involved. Um, this could be the one uh, going with the flow. Yes, exactly. It is retreating. It's going with the flow. I see that um, it's revealing the bond. And, and then when the bond deepens, a lot of magic will happen here. And uh, yeah, uh, I see great things on the horizon for this union here. There is a uh, a lot of love, uh, a lot of lust, a lot of passion, a lot of fun as well, Gemini. So um, that's great. Uh, that has its value for sure. <laughs> now, um, let's add a few messages for... Um, so a year of the rooster, we have also year of the ox, year of the rats, 
is here as well. And uh, I think that is it, Gemini. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share the video. You can leave a comment as well. And uh, I'm wishing you a wonderful New Year's celebration.